So as you can see guys, this is an electromagnetic relay. There are front two pins and there are three pins on the back. The two pins in the front as you can see are the normally closed and the normally open pins and these are the switch pins. And the three pins in the back, the center pin is the common switch or the common pin. And the other two pins are the coil switches which um, are basically the terminal switches of the relay. Yeah. Alright guys, step 1 is take the negative terminal of the battery supply and connect it to the common switch of the relay and one of the um, one of the coil terminals of the relay. Alright guys, after that take the positive terminal of the 9 volt supply you have from the battery and connect that to the positive terminal of the buzzer. Alright, next step towards Eureka guys, take the negative terminal of the buzzer and connect that to the normally closed pin of the relay right here. Taking care of the two wires guys, which when are made short, the buzzer should stop ringing, that's the relay's magic. So as you can see, the first wire should be connected to the relay's another coil switch or the coil terminal. And take another wire now and connect it to buzzer's negative terminal. Again guys, these wires should, uh, the buzzer should ring when these wires are separated from each other and otherwise should stop ringing. Alright guys, after everything your circuit should look something like this. I've connected these two wires just in case um, the buzzer doesn't start ringing as soon as I connect it with the batteries. Alright guys, so I'm done fixing the whole circuit on my door here. So I just glued everything up on the door. And what I did is I fixed a metal plate. Um, I fixed um, uh, any metal plate would do um, which has a good conductivity, most probably aluminium or silver or maybe iron. So I just um, connected a metal plate on the top of the door in such a way that it just connects the two terminals to the metal plate when the door closes and when the door opens it just loses contact and when the door closes uh, the two terminals just get contacted with the, with the metal plates. Wait, let me just let you guys have a good look at it. So guys, this is the circuit. I just glued everything up on the door. These are the two connecting terminals and um, this is what I picked up as a metal plate. It's, um, it's, um, it's, um, I, I took it from a computer basically. And I fixed the two wires. I just um, taped them on the edge of my door so that it just touches that metal plate so that it basically gets, um, um, it's, it basically gets, um, the circuit gets complete. And when I open the door, it loses contact. When I just close the door, the circuit um, finishes again. It gets shot. And now the circuit's um, closed. So let's see how this works. I'm going to connect the battery, so when I connect it, um, the circuit shouldn't, um, the buzzer shouldn't ring. So let's see. It should just give a little tick, because that's the time relay takes to um, process one switch. There you go. That was just one click. And now, I just connected the circuit guys, and now the circuit is closed. And the current is passing and um, the buzzer isn't ringing. So now I open the door and it should ring. There you go. Now I close the door. It's done. That's how you make a burglar alarm or um, basically any door alarm. There you go. It works. <laughs> Yay.